welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> mm, I'm so, so super excited about this. Um, just saying welcome to, I've been saying welcome to my YouTube channel for the longest time to my camera, thinking I'm gonna upload, but I never do. So I'm very, very excited that I finally, finally actually done this. Um, so my name is Zinke M. And this will be a lifestyle, med school, and beauty, um, you know, related YouTube channel or channel, yeah. Um, so today, what I'll be doing is a get to know me tag. Like, I just figured, you know, before you guys really get into my life and everything, you guys should at least get to know a few things about me, really understand the person, you know, that you'll be watching um, the content of later. Is that English? You know, I know that when I watch, like if I find a YouTube video and it's someone maybe doing a vlog, I'm always interested to see like, who is this person? You know, I want to know more about them. So that's why I was like, let me just do a get to know me so you guys can get to know me. So I asked on Instagram for some questions and I've got them written down here. I am filming with my phone, so that's why I have to kind of read them out. But camera you know like i told myself i'm like let me not spend all this money that i don't have oh no that i do have oh guys the part of the tongue let me not spend money until i've seen consistency from myself like let me prove to myself that i can actually be consistent with this and if i am then i'll invest in myself in terms of um more equipment so yeah i've got my questions written down here um so if i look down it's because i'm just reading okay so the first question says what is your name so my name is zinke mguni um zinke zinke is my second name those who know my first name know but everyone calls me zinke so that's why i'm introducing myself as zinke how old are you? I am 21 years old. I was born on the 30th of January, 2000. Yeah, I'm a 2K or whatever. Um, so yeah, I turned 21 last month. Um, where are you from? So I am born and bred in the East Rand of Johannesburg, guys. Also, before we go for now, can we please stop with these um, assumptions and misconceptions about East Hans? I'm actually gonna address those in my channel because, or on my channel, because I don't like this thing going on on Twitter. You guys busy slandering East Hans, please, guys. No, we're such wholesome, wholesome Hans, and that's own period. Um, so yeah, I am from the East End of Johannesburg born here raised here most of my family's here if not all and then i am currently living at school um so i currently live should i even be disclosing my location i live in joey but like um should i say north like towards the north of joburg so why youtube so guys um i started watching youtube channels or, or youtube in high school like when i was applying for med school and when i was going through like my skin like i had really bad acne and things like that i would like to like watch youtube channels and understand other people's journeys and from then i felt like these things are so helpful and it's something i would like to do is share um things with people that can be helpful but also I feel like YouTube is so nice because you get to really, what can I say, document your life. You get to bring people along, you know, into your life. And I feel like I, in my head, I'm in a reality TV show. Like every time I'm speaking, I, I speak like there's people watching me. It's, it's a thing, you know? So I was like, you know what, let's start a YouTube channel. But I think the biggest thing is that I needed something to do, um, a hobby. And I thought, you know what? Something that probably I would enjoy is YouTube because I'm obsessed with watching YouTube videos. And um, every time I watch a YouTube video, I always like imagine myself doing that. So I was like, yeah, let, let's just do this. And, and you know, share. I also want to share a lot of things that I know with others, have conversations that maybe not everyone is having, um, but just, 
I want this to be a wholesome channel. Helpful, funny, you know, entertaining, all of that good stuff. Oh, oh yes, guys, please like, comment. Yo, I've been wanting to say this for so long. Guys, please like, comment, subscribe, share. It's nice to the side, guys. Yes. Okay, so the next question is where and what are you studying? So I am studying at Vitz University and I am currently studying. Why I need to currently? I am, yes, I'm currently studying medicine. Hey, this question. Everyone always looks at me like I'm crazy, like, oh my gosh, why would you study medicine? Yes, guys, I chose it with my chest. I said, yes, that's why. So yeah, I am studying medicine. Which celebrity would you consider your spirit animal? You know, everyone who knows me knows I'm gonna say Beyonce. Cause oh, one thing about me, Queen B and Queen Z, understand? Queen B and Queen Z in my head, really. When she says B, I say Z, you understand? So Beyonce is definitely someone who I look up to, I find, you know, influential, uh, inspirational, all of those Asianals. Um, but also Bonang, I love, 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 love Bonang. Like she's one of my favorite people. I love her personality. I, a, I I love that girl. That that lady, that woman. I la, 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 10 out of 10, love her. Okay, and then the next question I got is, did you always know that you wanted to go to med school? So um, I can't say I always knew. But I remember, like, I don't remember a lot, guys. Hey, Memoria. But I remember we did a project in grade six where we had to, I guess, research someone who we find inspirational. And I came across this woman who was the first black neurosurgeon. And reading up on her, you know, made me think, you know what, I, I want to be a black female neurosurgeon. You know what I mean? So that's where then my, like, I started having interest in medicine and i saw myself doing medicine but i think the biggest thing that made me interested in medicine is that like so many of my family members oh this is a bit tmi like it's a bit deep but a lot of my family members had like diseases and things like that and they passed away from all of those things you know what i mean um all of those things but yeah um so it, it always i guess I wanted to know like why what happened you know what caused this family member to start looking like this and or whatever you know and start acting or start yeah start getting those symptoms and stuff like that but then I got into high school I just had this interest for like I just wanted to know what's happening in my body like I always wanted to know why do why does it happen like this why is this thing happening like this why do I sneeze? Why do I cough? What's happening in my body? When like, why does why do I have a membrane on this side of my? You know, like I was very curious, and my curiosity grew when I was doing like biology because I feel like, especially when we're doing like the body, like the human body. For me, it was the most interesting thing, and I feel like there's nothing more beautiful than to actually know what's happening in your own body. So. It just, yeah, even though I think at some point in high school, I started having doubts about doing medicine because obviously you guys know, hey, people who get into medicine, it's competitive. So I did have doubts, but you know what? By the grace of God, if something is for you, nothing will stop it. And that's on period. So yeah, um, yeah, I didn't always know to answer the question. <laughs> what is the future of your channel? Mm. You know what? I like that question. You guys ask interesting questions, by the way. Thank you so much for all your questions. So, the future of this channel is just to grow and for us to learn from each other. Like, um, you know, I think as a university student, there's so many things that we can talk about or that I want to talk about that are related to um, things that we go through and you know but also just to see like i want people to just have fun with this channel like i want it to be light-hearted instances um in most instances and for us to just live life you know what i mean like i just want people to see me living life and be inspired by that because i feel like i have all this good energy 
and now I'm in such a good space. So I want to share that. I want to share things that I've learned. I want to share, you know, just my life with people. And I always feel there was always a, I always feel like I've been someone who people must understand like people don't really know what's up with me they just kind of make assumptions so i want people to really get to know me and i just yeah i want like i said just for us to learn and grow and yeah what are you passionate about and what do you wish you were more passionate about okay i would say i'm passionate about my degree definitely like Especially other people always tell me like when you start to when like when I'll start to talk about things that I've learned like I really really It's like it excites me I'm passionate about Doing good in the world like I'm passionate about it like I Oh, I'm passionate. Whoa, hold on first and for more first things first. I'm passionate about that guy upstairs Oh god. Wow guys like I'm so passionate about Christianity my spirituality extremely like I, I really 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 am what do i wish i was more passionate about i think it's a growing passion but one thing i do wish i was more passionate about is i don't know i don't know um i don't know i'm passionate i'm just i'm passionate about life i feel like right now i'm in a space of i'm just you know yeah but i think one thing i do want to be more passionate about is making a difference like even if it's small i want to make a difference but i feel like it is something that i'm passionate about but that's why i'm like on this platform because i want to even to make a greater difference and even if it's one person like that for me is it's good hey and then someone someone and you know who you are you're busy asking me dizzy questions there uh, please ne? i'm not gonna answer that question <laughs> like i'll send you a message because i'm not gonna answer that please ne? um and then here i've got um what's your type <laughs> guys one thing about me ne, i don't have a type i don't lie i don't have a type like every guy i've liked is different like they are different literally so i can't say i have a type but i just love kind people you know like i, I love a good heart Type Yam Yeleo and and Mali. Jokes, no, I'm joking, but but I'm not joking. But you know, um in that I mean, in that I, in the presence that you know is my type. In that I air irrespectful. Like I like your oh, respect. Ah your heart is so hot that thing. Like that thing is hot, guys. Like when a man is just respectful and and caring, like I say, kind, just you know that funny hi my type funny yo 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 that's my type actually funny guys that's on period you make me laugh i even forget that your face is a little bit skew i just um, i see beauty i see beauty because i love to laugh i love to smile so if you can do that let's go let's rock let's rock the next question i got is five occurrences that helped me realize I was growing into the person I want to be. Yo, I can't do five um, because of time. Like I don't want to make this video too long. You know what? I'm actually gonna say starting my YouTube channel. Like the confidence for me that came with starting my YouTube channel, the, the drive, me putting my mind to it and actually doing it, that showed me that I am actually really, really becoming the person that I want to be. Or I'm growing into a person that I, I've always wanted to be because I've always known that I want to be on a platform of some sort, talking to people, interacting, sharing, you know, whatever it is that I want to share. So I would, I would say this, you know, maybe later on we'll talk about more. But I think another um, occurrence is just kind of, not a specific occurrence but like lately i'm such i'm in such a good space and it's like to a point where negativity makes me cringe like i'm like i'm i know life is eh, but i'm in such a positive space thank god for that that negativity makes me cringe and that makes me realize that i am becoming the person that i've always wanted to be a person who is optimistic a person who is you know just ready to rock 
like in a good way but yeah and the next question is where do you see yourself in 10 years where the money resides because i'm asked what the word what a money reside what a money reside what a money reside what a money Number one, where the money resides uh, obviously living soft and tough and tough and living very soft um but okay on a serious note i think in 10 years how old will i be oh lord yeah okay i won't say you guys can do the math but firstly in 10 years definitely i want to be at my most or not at my most but i want to be really really connected and in a really really good space with god so in my spirituality in my christianity i want to be so solid like that hey nothing can shake me even though i feel like i'm almost there but that's one of the things that i definitely definitely want in 10 years i, I mean in 10 years i see myself i'll be specializing definitely hmm, probably married hey guys i believe in marriage well, well, well. probably married maybe thinking about having my first kid i know i'm I'm too young to be saying these things but guys you you said 10 years so i'm thinking 10 years but i think just happy in 10 years i see myself being happy and at peace you know and even though the thing is life will never be perfect life you know things will come up but it's like having peace within the storm that's what i see for myself happiness joy peace love lots of love you know yeah I think, but where the money resides, definitely where the money resides. That's on pro. But also, in ten years, I hope that I would have made an impact. Like I hope that I would have made a difference. Since I was very young, I've always felt this thing inside of me that I'm gonna do big things. And I know I'm not like I'm not trying to sound cocky or anything like that. But I've always felt like I am going to make a difference. Definitely, definitely, I'm going to make a difference. So I think in ten years, I would have, you know, done. I will be been like on my way to doing that um hopefully even before that the last question is my aspirations for the future so i'm not really someone who likes to share my aspirations and my goals just because i do think that those things are personal but i think like i've mentioned i want to do big things in the world i do want to make a difference um i do want to be live like um living my best life um living soft you know because i deserve it and that's all um but yeah my aspirations for the future is just also just to be happy i know eh, not me quoting beyonce but i i feel like yes I'm, like someone else will be like no that's overrated but i do just want to be happy like at peace you know what i mean like at my best mental states emotional states um yeah and and just to to fulfill my purpose find my purpose and fulfill my purpose those are the things that i really really like want to you know that those are the things that i or i could say my are my aspirations for the future you know giving back you know to my mom my sister we'll get into all of that but yeah i think yeah so guys that is all for today um, i will try to upload two times a week but for now i definitely will be uploading once a week thank you so much for watching if you reach this point let's say let's 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 comment comment we made it yeah let's comment we made it if you made it to this point of the video um thank you so so much for watching um please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe for more of our days to see more displays yeah so thanks for watching come back again for more